Teamwork, a crucial component of a better work experience and ultimately better patient care. You are on the front lines of patient care and your opinions matter. Regular team brainstorming sessions can improve accountability and a collective sense of responsibility for patient care. Cyber attacks. Hackers are always scheming to steal sensitive information and you are the simplest way to gain access to your organization's valuable data. Phishing emails, which are disguised to look just like the real thing, contain attachments or links that are designed to bypass antivirus software. Once you open them, your computer is infected. Make sure you know an email is 100% legit before you click. Install available operating system updates. Those updates are there for a reason. Often, they fix significant security flaws that have been used to compromise thousands or even millions of users. Studies show 9 out of 10 people use social media to find or share health-related information, and some even rely on it to make their health care decisions. As a health professional, you should be aware of the positives and the pitfalls. And patient confidentiality guidelines, even a get well wish to a patient may be a violation. Pictures of patients, even with their consent, cause major issues. Learn and follow your company's social media policies. They're there for a reason. The benefits of patient access include higher survey scores and more engaged patients who are better prepared for their office visits, motivated to improve self-care, and more involved in their future health decisions. You can't prevent access over a patient's failure to pay for care or because they may not understand the information or be upset Patients by. must sign a written request to have their PHI transmitted to a third party, including their primary care physician, loved ones, a caregiver, mobile health applications, or a research institution. An office visit can be scary. The patients may be dealing with new symptoms or an undiagnosed condition and wonder if they'll need an operation or even if they're going to die. During procedures like a blood draw, not saying anything may make the patient more nervous, especially if they notice a look of indecisiveness or a frown that would suggest something is going wrong. Bear in mind, what's routine for you is far out of the ordinary for them, so put the patient at ease by keeping that conversation going. A patient pays close attention to every aspect of their visit. After all, it's their health on the line. When the stakes are this high, the small things matter, whether it's a spotless exam room or a carefully chosen word. Tune into these details and anticipate patient concerns to relieve their anxiety. One in three doctors suffer from burnout. Stress and fatigue can all negatively impact the single most influential point in patient satisfaction, the quality of one-on-one -on -one interaction between doctor and patient. If your own personal satisfaction level isn't a five, think about the first thing you'd change and do it. You'll see improvements in patient satisfaction and your bottom line. Taking the time for meaningful conversation is essential. The Bathe survey is an interview format that can make patients feel more valued. It allows the physician to assess the background situation, the patient's effect, the problem that is most troubling for the patient, and the manner in which the patient is handling the problem. It concludes with a response that conveys empathy. Humor can be a subtle way to express dissatisfaction with patient behavior, provide reassurance and relaxation, or command attention. Well-placed jokes help overcome communication roadblocks, connecting you and your patient on common ground. Describes health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. Current health assessments struggle to capture how people experience their lives and how healthy they really are, so it's up to you to learn more. Care isn't just about someone's illnesses and treatments, it's about their lives. Taking time to discuss mental and social issues strengthens the bond between care providers and patients and may help improve satisfaction scores and overall happiness. Happy patients generally require fewer office visits and enjoy a better quality of life. Investing in happiness can help millions of people and save billions of dollars, so it's worth it. That's our Service 7. Keep these tips in mind to go beyond satisfaction and help patients live happier, healthier lives.